I am Mildred Ruby Langford. I play Queenie on the Kanye series. I'm also a writer and an executive producer. I am here with Mr. Terrell Ford, who is the founder of Band Devices. Hi, Terrell, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So, we will go ahead and jump right in. When did your love for art begin? Uh, I've been collecting artworks since I was about 16 years old, so I'm almost 50 now. So. <laughs> what is the meaning behind the name Band Devices? It's a very interesting uh, name for our family. Well, with Band Devices, you know, we all come from different walks of life, uh, with different vices in our life, if you will. Wherever, wherever in the walk of life that you come from, that when we're in this sacred space, whether it's here or anywhere that Band Devices is producing something, that the only agreement that we all do have is that we're here for the commonality of good, the uplifting of humanity, and to amplify our awareness of whatever that particular project may be at the time. We're all here in celebration of something good. Can you tell us a little bit about the artists you have on this program? Each one of these shows for this year have been led by black women. The current artist that we have on February James, She's a local artist here in Los Angeles. Um, she deals with expressionist reports that are a mix of mixed media or pastels. She also has some works, uh, a lot of colors on paper as well. She's originally from North Carolina, raised in DC. And then she is, there it is. <laughs> and then prior to that, we had uh, Shell Barber. Um, her mm -hmm. show was You Is Pretty. Yes, I came to that opening, which is awesome. Yes, and we actually had uh, Angela Bassett serve as our guest curator mm -hmm. on that show. What is your mission or goal for band devices as it relates to community and being where you are? What's important for us being here in West Adams is that the people in this community feel comfortable enough to be able just to come in here and just look around. And if, they if they have questions to ask, in fact, we encourage them. You know? mm -hmm. I love when people bring the kids in. And he brought his son in one day. And his son went up to one of the sculptural pieces and he touched it. And his father began to admonish him. And I said, I said, no, 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 no. I said, it's okay. I said, this is how he's going to learn. So I told his son, I said, I promise you something. I said, now, you know, you can't touch the artwork on the wall. But if you come in here and if you draw something, I'll put it on the wall. And you know what? No one will be able to touch it. Oh. <laughs> and he just lived up. And I want those kids to be inspired to someday go, I can do that. Because I drew something one day and they put it on the wall and they showed me what potential I have. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Terrell, for taking the time to sit down and chat with us. Uh, but before we go, can you tell our audiences where they can find more information about them? You can find Band Devices on every social media platform that exists. We are at Band Devices everywhere <laughs> imaginable. Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. We are also BandDevices.com. We're 5376 West Adams Boulevard. Come check us out. Thank you. Thank you.